welcome back. Today we're going to take a look at a civilian ration packaged by Sapaco. Yeah, you know Sapaco. They do USMREs, but they also do a smaller sort of civilian variant as well. Now these were uh, purchased by none other than my mother. <laughs> so, one of the biggest supporters of the channel, but um, yeah, so she gave me gave me some of these out of their case, and I think uh, I want to say there's maybe like three or four different menus, if I remember correctly. Um, but a disclaimer: so this is what we would technically call expired. If I remember correctly, I don't have the case in front of me, but I believe these were from 2012. I'll open it up and we'll see, make sure. Generally speaking, a ration, U.S. packed ration, is good from three to five years of its packing. So when you look at, say, a case of U.S. MREs, we've talked about this before, but if you look at a case of U.S. MREs, you'll see a pack date and then an inspection date. So the inspection date happens three years after it's packed. And that's just to make sure that, you know, rats, insects, damp, uh, you know, mold, whatever, hasn't set in and ruined your rations, right? A tricky little thing they do on eBay, which, I'm, which you really have to watch out for, is that they will list the inspection date of the case you're looking to buy instead of the pack date. It makes it seem better. Um, you know, say if I'm, it's 2020 right now, right? So, oh, uh, inspection date of uh, 2015. Oh, great, so that means I have more time. Well, you know, it's, it's like at the very end, so that's still fine, it's, it's just at the end. Well, actually, it's technically, again, in quotations, technically expired because you have to add on, you know, a couple more years because, again, the inspection date is not the pack date. So, watch out for that. Watch out for that when you're buying this stuff. Now, does that mean that this is expired? Like we can't eat it? That's not necessarily true. I've eaten older stuff. I actually have a, a video that, I, oh God, it's actually been a while ago of a ration that uh, Old Smokey sent me. And that one was from 99, if I remember correctly. And it was fine. It was just fine. Um, so there's a potential that this will be just fine. But use your nose, use your eyes, use your taste buds. If it smells off, maybe don't eat it. If it looks off, probably don't eat it. If it tastes off, definitely don't eat it. Um, but that's what I would say. So we're going we're gonna to give this a crack, and I don't expect the heater to work very well. Uh, a, lot, a lot of times these heaters do degrade, but we will try it, and we'll give it the old college try. So <clears throat> this is a uh, beef patty, uh, which is, <laughs> I like the old beef patty. I don't know. I don't know why. I think we all kind of enjoy weird things from time to time. So let's go ahead and check her out. What do we got? So we got a spoon. A little different than our standard MRE spoon, but very rigid. A little smaller too. We have some regular cheese spread, which who definitely needs a good knead. And cheese spread is one of those things that will discolor over time. So that's something we'll check. We've got crackers, standard crackers, seal looks really nice, and there's a good date, so the 208th day of 2012. <clears throat> so again, this is basically eight years old. We have our flameless ration heater. We'll see if that works. We have tropical punch flavored beverage base powder. Oh, double cheese spread, I'll be darned. Okay, cool. Dose cheese spreads. Why? Nah, who knows. And an oatmeal cookie. Very cool. Uh, no, no wheat snack bread. And here is our beef patty in the old, uh, the old packaging. <clears throat> I kind of miss the boxes. The sleeves don't always work out very well. Look at that. That's almost a little shrink wrapped into itself. So. Uh, no salt, so let me actually get some salt. Now one of the tricks you can do with, uh, <clears throat> with the older ration heaters is put a little bit of salt. 
This is actually something that some rat. Okay, fine. Don't don't be open. Uh, uh, some uh, companies will ship saline water as opposed to just you know a salt packet and you provide your own water. I've seen that before. I just can't remember where it was. But anyway, let me go get some salt. We'll get this heater run and see if it works. And if it does, cool. If it doesn't, then I'm just going to boil the bag. All right, so I went ahead and just mixed the salt into the water. Uh, you can pre-do it or stick, stick the uh, salt in the bottom of the bag as well. It doesn't really matter how you do it. Um, I just thought I'd save a step. Okay, and we'll just get all this situated correctly. And again, you're just uh, looking to fill in between the fill lines as best as humanly possible. A little overfill. Now let's lay it flat and see if we get any engagement. Just kind of want to get that water into the heating cells or element or whatever you want to call them. I do hear, I do hear it, I'll be darned, okay, good. I don't know if we're going to get a lift off, but there's a little bit of heat coming off of the number one cell. I think we're going to get some sort of ignition, but uh, yeah. There it goes. Great, great. That's awesome. That's awesome. All right, so we're going to stick that in our box here, and you can set that up against a rock or something, but I'm... Oh, it's making all sorts of sounds. Good. It's good to roll. All right, so I'm going to, you know, heat that up a little bit, and then we will be right back with everything on the tray. All right, we're back. Got everything on the tray. Heater did a really admirable job. It did. It kind of got started up pretty good, and uh, yeah, I, th I think it should have everything reasonably warm. So let's go ahead and get everything open. Let's see if we can get a hiss from these, these crackers. Yeah, nice one. Crackers are usually good for <laughs> forever, although <clears throat> an old pack of crackers will give off a horrendous smell. And those look good. I'm getting little crummies all over the place. Check out our cookie. Oatmeal cookie. Ah, look at that. Pretty. Perfectly intact. Looking good. Looking good. Looking good. Uh, let's make our drink. And then we'll... Check out that cheese spread on a cracker. Lots of powder in there. Lots and lots of powder. It's funny how, you know, in some rations I get, you know, you'll have a little powder and it packs a big punch. And then you'll have some that have a lot of powder and pack zero punch. I can definitely smell that. Whew. There's going to be a little, little bit in the bottom there. We like to call that kinetic sand on this channel. Eh, I don't know. I think that, that seemed to have mixed okay. Fairly okay. Whew, that's fruit punch all right. Never was a huge fan of fruit punch. It always just seemed very artificial, very fake to me, which it is, of course. So our cheese spread here, <clears throat> it's not it's not hard, but it is it's a little stiff, so I just wanted to kind of knead it up a little bit here. And uh, this also helps especially with peanut butter for any separation or anything like that, but it's not necessary. But sometimes it will help loosen things up. Ooh, oh, that's looking like great color. Man, look at that. Oh, wow, yeah, yeah, yeah. Great color. Look at that. 
Yeah, whoever had these and stored them, stored them really, really well. Yeah, look at that. I'm impressed because like cheese spread, applesauce are like two of the things that just turn color. And I've had, I've had some, ooh wow, yeah that heater is still nice and warm, dang. I've had some that just, you know, just turned and I'll tell you, <clears throat> heat is one of those things that really does affect this, these rations a lot. And if you if you eliminate heat, and you just have them at a constant temperature, they will last a while. But you know, US ration, smells good. US rations, man, I mean, sometimes they're subject to heat. You gotta think of where they're going to. All right, heat's a killer. Let me go ahead and, I had a, had a napkin over here. I figure, figure we'll wipe off the, <laughs> wipe off the uh, fruit punch. From my spoon. I know you guys like mashups and everything, but I'm not going to fruit punch everything. So let's try our beef patty. Let's get this, get this bad boy going. Yeah, yeah, looks like a big old chunk of beef. <clears throat> That's just a little bit of cracker, not fat. <laughs> a couple of cracker bits got in the way. Mm-hmm. Yeah. God, it's the strangest thing, these beef patties. It really is. <clears throat> it's like, for those of you who have never had just the standard beef patty, because now we have like the jalapeno beef patty. It's kind of like eating a, a Jack Link stick. Dang it. A Jack Link stick that didn't quite make it to jerky form. Yeah, that's, yeah, that, that, that just wasn't quite jerky because it kind of has that, that taste <clears throat> or, or like a, just a very, very basic meatloaf. Mm. Yeah, a little cheese with that's good. Cheese is tasting pretty good. Yep. Crackers have held up. God, the cheese is so salty. So very, very salty. There we go. And one thing for the beef patty, it's not salty. It's actually very bland, but you get a little bit of texture, crunch the cracker, saltiness from the cheese. <clears throat> it does, yeah, it does its thing. Try a little bit of our drink. God, this feels like it'd be watered down a lot more. Whew. I just never feel good after drinking fruit punch. <laughs> <clears throat> I don't know why. It's fine. It does taste like fruit punch. I could water it down a little bit more <clears throat> and be happy with it, but it's not bad. It's it's just, you know, Kool-Aid. It's just pretty much like you guys would remember. Oh, wow, that cookie really crumbles. <laughs> I was trying to get a piece, and it's just ready to turn to dust. Okay. Yeah. Ah, that's held up really well, too. Very basic oatmeal cookie. Um, a lot of times you'll see that with like chocolate in it, but yeah, it's nice. A little bit of an aftertaste to package, but but not much. Just a little bit. So, but it's it's held up. It is just ready to vaporize, though. I will say that. <laughs> it is nice to see a cookie though, out of that package that's held held its shape. But. The cookies, for some reason, you leave them in there for too long. That's the one that always gets the package taste. Wheat snack bread, <clears throat> some little uh, cakes or whatever. Sometimes those survive better. But the cookies, 
Yeah, sometimes they just don't. So, anyway, a little, little bit smaller meal here. A little bit more condensed. But these are built for the, uh, for the civilian market. You know, Surepak, Sapaco, Civilian. I've got a couple more of these, so you'll be seeing them periodically. But uh, special thanks to my mother uh, for providing this today. <clears throat> um, and a special happy Mother's Day to all of you mothers out there. Obviously, wouldn't be here without you. Um, so again, thank you very much for, for everything you do for, for all of your, your children. And a special thank you to all the, you know, the stepmothers and the, and the parents out there, the non-biological parents, the adoptive uh, parents and uh, adoptive mothers and all this good stuff. You know, you guys are, are MVPs as well. So again, happy Mother's Day to all the mothers. <clears throat> Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully y'all are staying safe. Uh, at this time in the world, it's pretty, still pretty crazy. So, <clears throat> you know, stay safe, y'all. And if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to hit the subscription button for me. I would greatly appreciate that. Hit the bell, too, if you want notifications. YouTube doesn't do that for you. Leave a comment down below if you, uh, <clears throat> if you have something to say. Hit the old like button if you enjoyed yourself. And, uh, yeah, we will catch you down the road. See you.